So uh, that golem then proceeds to grow back its arms and legs because now that it has been fully healed, those have been restored. And you basically did enough healing to it to negate what Chan did. I believe it's only three health overlap. I'm just gonna look at Rocket like, you motherfucker. I have my own spell, which is... So you should still have your own turns if you want to try using whatever you're gonna use. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and use Touch of the Sun to be annoying. Twilight vampires ain't got shit on me. I demand right. canonically he has to pose to be able to sparkle. Alright, so you're going to basically blind them. The illumination is enough where it's painful and destructive. They are not susceptible to light, however you are going to blind them. Yeah, so the, the golem that just got healed is not going to be able to see, and neither is the other one. So you guys are going to have open season. Chan, because your mask kind of filters out light the way it should, you're not going to have to roll for this. However, Velnos and uh, Arch, you guys are both going to have to roll reflexes to cover your eyes in time. Must be powerful light to reach inside the wall. You can't see? Okay, then you don't have to roll, then it's just Velnos. Yeah. Oh, that's better. Not, all right, yeah. So you, you, you cover your eyes in time to not be blinded by the blast. So the only ones that are blinded are the two golems. And the guy behind them, the one that's still in the cloak, I'm going to roll for him. Uh, and he has a plus 15 to that, which I don't think is going to be quite enough to shield his eyes. So he's also going to be stunned for a little bit. As he's stunned, he drops a little bag. And out of that bag falls what looks like the yellow crystal shard that you guys deposited at the very beginning of the mission. It appears that now he's kind of, he can't really see very well. So he's kind of like fumbling around for it at the moment. Can I do this as an opportunity, a reflex, to uh, grab it with my grappling hook? I'm going to do Velnos first, and yeah. then on your turn, you can, yes. So Velnos, you have a chance to attack. The golems are still pseudo-okay. And again, they do have fire absorption, so if you use an incendiary grenade, you're going to heal them. Using fucking acid on metal and wood is equal. Keep in mind, you also have some other stuff with you as well. You still have your satchel charge, among other things. All right, that is not going to hit. That will hit, however. That's 13 damage, so that corrosive grenade starts melting away. Again, the rear golem is still using the other golem as a shield, so he just kind of keeps that one in front, and he takes 13 damage, but it's slowly corroding away his chest. So it's it, it's not it's not great. It's not doing well. Cam, it's now going to be your turn, so you can use your uh, your grappling hook if you want to try and grab yeah. that crystal shard. I'm going to grab. I'm going to use the grappling hook, the the bag of crystals. Okay, you go. All right, you're gonna go for the bag. Okay, yeah. so you can, you can. All right, so you can do that. So that's gonna be, I believe, a dexterity roll to use that. All right, so you missed entirely, uh, and your grappling hook actually uh, goes back and catches one of the golem in the back by the leg. If you want to try and roll a strength oh, check, oh fuck you yeah! To I'm gonna use one of my attacks for that. Oh, I ain't gonna do shit. Nope, you're not going to do shit. So that is going to be stuck there. So that golem is going to also get a movement of opportunity to try and break free. I'm going to have him roll strength. All right, so that's 17. That means that's going to be a plus seven with his strength. So that's going to be a 24. So yes, he's able to shake off your grappling hook. So that's no longer attached. Right, so you, yeah, get three, you get three more turns. Fuck this guy. That will hit. The second one will not. And the third one will. So calculate for damage for the first and third. And... 50, 60. So that's 66 damage that was done to him. So you basically brought him back down to a decent degree. But that number, that one yeah, shot that, that one, we shot, yep. that went by him and hit the wall. It also blew a hole in the wall, which means that there's water now starting to flood into that room. So the water is flowing in. But here's the other uh, part is because they're made out of wood, they don't sink. They're going to be floating. So as the water continues to flood in, and it's going up rather rapidly because that hole that he blew was pretty large. So the, the golems can't sink. They float because they're made out of wood. So they can't actually dive below the water. So they start just floating up with it. The guy who is in the back finally manages to fumble around and puts the yellow crystal shard back in. He then proceeds to open a portal. I'm going to give all of you guys a chance to try and run to see if you can get through that portal before it closes. Oh my god. I mean, it's still a 32. I cannot Arch, in good Arch. conscience make a reflex save because I cannot see outside the wall. Can I speak to him through my telepathy? Well, Arch, uh, technically you can still hear people's thoughts through there, I'm pretty sure. I, I think it has to be willing, which is why I can hear him. Well, he is willing because he's trying to communicate with you mentally, so you're going to still hear his thoughts. So, Cham, you're going to oh, communicate. No. Run! Is that your voice? You sound terrible. It's disgusting. Sounds like troll from Mother Country. Arch, he relays that to you that you need to get out of there like now. 
So with, with that reflex, can I also grab him as soon as he pops up? All right, was that your reflex save? Yes, he was. Okay, you're not gonna have to because after he pops up, he has a high enough reflex save where he's gonna okay. be able to move through. Velnos, however, I'm gonna say because you rolled a high enough one, you're gonna snag him. And then Raka, roll me a, an attack roll to shoot Arch with just enough fire so that you can use your teleportation bullshit. He set cone on fire. I think he meant aim at person with cloak, but I am fine with this. That is uh, that is enough. So he basically lights your traffic cone like a birthday candle. So you guys all run toward the thing and Raka, you basically teleport right to the portal as it goes. And you guys all leap through at the same time. So all four of you kobolds go through this. And after you go through the portal, shoot out the other side there's the cloaked figure who's standing there it's an open field that's kind of green and there's a cottage behind it like a little like picturesque cottage it looks like it's very homely it doesn't look like a uh, it's not a dungeon it's not anything weird there's a lot of open space but the the cloaked figure is in front of you as you guys fall out of this portal he turns around to you in surprise as you all exit oh shit look it, 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 it it's not what it looks like I can explain. I'm gonna launch my xenomorph whip around his neck. Roll dexterity for that, because you were trying. You're not trying to hurt him. You're just trying to to bring him in. Roll dexterity for that. All right. Well, you rolled low enough anyway. So basically, you just kind of whip at him. He's like, whoa, 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 okay. I am not the one who has been repeatedly killing. I'm just collecting the gem shards. Okay. Well, no, who who killed us? He slit his hole right there. It's not surprise. He blows up. No, no, you don't understand. There's been somebody who's been triggering the explosive in his arm and resuscitating you from death to hunt the crystals. He's a wizard, says he's going to use it for some kind of ritual or whatever, but he needed kobolds because we're small and we're clever and we can fit in places that other things can't and we're readily expendable. I turn to fire guy and I, I say... Hey, uh, fellow comrade, um, have you ever wanted to be dragon and then fuck small thing? I mean, I guess that's a perfectly good answer like from the no, cat. It sounds like no fire. No, dragon has fire. You have fire penis. So I burn things with penis. This sounds fantastic. All right, I say he not give us answer. We turn to dragon. I have spell animal shape. We both turn to dragon. We both will, uh, I think terminology is a uh, run train on him look, look 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 i know where the wizard is who's been fucking with all of you he's in that shack i'm supposed to give him this crystal shard if you guys want to you can go murder him instead of killing me okay but then we could also just kill you then kill him yeah he look, just told us where he was we could just kill you now and then move on to him it makes sense look, look i'm on your side no, Look, I'm on your side. You, you know you kill us and take shinies. Because he was going to kill me, okay? It's a vicious cycle. Okay, I say it's dragon time. Is it dragon time? It is dragon time. Dragon okay. is nuts cross face. <laughs> I grab uh, onto him and I cast animal shapes to turn us both into full-formed adult red dragons. All right, so you're, all three of you are going to get transformed into, into massive red dragons. With body of fire on, too? You're all transformed into dragons. He immediately shits himself and just points the kinds of, He's in there. Please, 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 please let me live. I'm going to go for the, the house with the wizard. You guys can fuck him. I'm going to fuck the wizard. All right, Cham, we'll go to you first. So you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna light the house on fire with dragon breath? 12d10 breath weapon damage. 12, 12 D10, okay, then that's going to be your fire damage. And since it's an AoE and a cone, I'm not going to make you roll to hit. You can just roll damage. All right, that's 74 damage. So you light that cottage ablaze. Fire blows through all the windows. And after a second, you hear a large amount of screaming from inside as what looks like a man who is in tanner's looking clothes he's in like a, a black uh, like a, a, a brown shirt with an apron it appears that he has a small little doll in his hand that he's been sewing that is now lit ablaze and he comes out on outside completely on fire and collapses onto the ground as he burns to death i'm gonna rape his corpse roll strength 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 is, we've been over this before strength is a rape roll okay 24 so you use him as a human cock sleeve he, you basically just shove your dick in there and he's just kind of now taken the shape of it. Most of his bones have been crushed and destroyed and pushed up towards his head. He is extremely dead. Correction. He fucked him with dicks. He is reptile now. He have two penis. 
While all this is happening, by the way, I want to cast uh, control plants and I want to hold Cobalt down to ground so that he cannot run away because I have feeling this asshole wizard and he lied to us. You can roll for that? Is that just an AOE? Control plants is uh, 25 feet plus 5 per every two levels at level 8. Right, but you're going to try and grapple him with, with the plant, so I'm assuming that's going to be a grapple roll. Oh, yeah, you rolled a one. Okay, so I'm going to have him roll a reflex save because he's going to try and open a portal to get the fuck out of here. Yes, this is what they thought. This is, man, this is wizard here, not that one. And again, he gets a plus 20. That's a 23. He's going to open the portal and try and get through. However, before he does that, he uh, smiles a little bit and snaps his fingers and he looks over at uh, Cham and he says, By the way, invisible guy, I was the one that was fucking with your explosive. And as he does that, you hear the countdown timer start to go. I don't think I'll bring you back this time. As he steps through the portal, everybody roll intelligence. Oh, this is fantastic. My intelligence okay. is trash. Your intelligence is trash, but you didn't roll the highest. All right, so Raka, you know what he just did. But the thing is, you also know that if you put something through a portal and it closes, that thing will also go where that portal goes to. You may want to relay to Cham that maybe uh, maybe his explosive should go through the portal. Hey, imaginary man who is totally not real at all. You should throw a wrist bracelet in portal. You can't disconnect it. You can disconnect your arm. If you want to take arm off, I cut arm off and throw it in. I bring sure. back... Sure, fuck it, let's do it. The, the animal shape you can undo at will. It is still going to take a little bit of time for him to transform back and make his way there because the wrist player slit is now like inside the dragon form, basically. Is there a is there a way for me to make it into the portal? If you want to go through the portal with your with the wrist player slit, you will die. If you want to do it, you can. You rolled in that one, so no, there is no way for you to make it into the portal one hundred percent. You can light self on fire, and then I can send you there myself. I see. Uh... Fireman, this is very big, like, um, how you say, a uh, moral issue with him cut off arm, make it the portal, make it... Do you, uh, want to fucking leave? Yes, this is a good idea. Let's just okay. fly away. Uh, invisible man, good luck. Uh, it's nice to know you. I try something, I don't know if it works. We'll see. And, uh, case word of recall, which teleports me to a place I have been. I teleport back to my sewer and I grab <laughs> fireman with me. Okay, so you and Raka teleport back to the sewer in red dragon form unless you, you unsummon that. I unsummon that. I don't want to be the red dragon in little sewer, but he's up to okay. fireman if he do the same. Okay, are you going to stay in your red dragon form or are you going to go back to your normal form? Okay. No, I'm a dragon. No, I, he can't take it back. Why would I be small lizard when I can be big fire lizard? I do say we are going to small sewer. I can always turn you back to lizard. Big lizard. I'm a fine, fine, fine. You guys both summon your dragon forms, and Arch, you teleport him back to the sewer that you guys were in originally. So, Cham, now what are you going to do now that you don't... You're not going to have a chance to make it through the portal 100% of your body, but you might be able to put your arm through. Yeah, that's... that's I'm, think, I'm thinking about just putting my arm into the portal. You would have enough time to do that. I will, right. I'll let you roll for a reflex save to do that. You should be all right, though. Oh, oh my God! Oh, that's the a nat 20. Of man. Those other two guys teleport away. Cham, you stick your arm into the portal, and the portal closes. It immediately slices your arm off a little past the elbow, and your hand goes through the portal along with the wrist explosive. Now, the kobold who pops out on the other side with his little uh, bag, he's in this, like, little laboratory-type building, and you can see... He sees that there is the red crystal and the purple crystal shards that you guys got before, that are all in little holders on like a scientific desk and he pulls out the yellow crystal but before the portal closes he looks back and sees a green bleeding arm shoot through with the explosive on it as it's going down beep 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 and he looks back at it and he's like oh fuck as that happens it detonates and kills him instantly, also obliterating his laboratory and all of the crystal shards that were there. So you successfully killed him, 
However, you are still missing an arm. Arch, I don't know if you want to go back there and get him. I mean, he is connected telepathically still. I can't go back. You can if you want to. You do know that he did live, even though you're well aware that the, the timer probably ticked down on that by now. Well, I mean, he can ask me if he wants to come back or he wants to do his own thing. He's kind of loner. I'm going to keep quiet. I'm going to sear my fucking arm, my stump, and I'm going to get, I'm, I'm just going to start walking. Just offhand, just let you know, uh, weird invisible man. I can do regenerate. I bring back a limb. This is magic. It's a thing that I can do. Oh, I, I don't even com- uh, communicate. I just go he- s- right on silent. Okay, but you, he does relay that message to you. Also, by the way, champ, Velnos is still there with you. <laughs> Because he didn't, he didn't get teleported away with Raka and uh, and Arch. He's still there with you. Yeah, I'll take him with me. All right, so you guys begin the long walk back to the sewer because you chose to walk instead. Geographically, you also have no idea where you are. But you guys successfully killed the wizard who was gathering the crystal shards. You somehow survived. Cham lost an arm, but you did blow him up and kill him. And that's the end of the Kobold campaign. You guys have completed it.